Hi there, it's Brian from Owasco RV coming to you live from well, Owasco RV in Bowmanville, Ontario. Just want to share this spectacular sunset we got going on here. Actually, in my view, it's actually a lot more orange and darker, but it still looks pretty, still looks pretty impressive there. Anyways, today what we're going to have for you is one of the Jay Feather Micros. Um, one of my favorite little trailers. The GVWR on these things, the gross vehicle weight recommendation is $49.95, so it's just under 5,000 pounds. So it's pullable by some of the larger SUVs and stuff. You don't need a pickup for one of these. But this is ideal for those people who want to go a little bit further off the grid. I don't know if you can notice, but it's got these liquid push bars on here, so to help push brush and debris away as you're going off road or going a little further in the bushes. You might not notice, but it's got two 30 pound tanks on here. Typically you have like, on a small trailer you get 120. So this has got like three times the amount of tanks uh, uh, for the, the propane on here. And with this unit two, you have a power tongue jack. Normally I go around this side, but I'm gonna go around the other way today, just because the sunset got me all excited. Um, great storage, lit up in here. A lot of times in the small one, it's not lit up. It's actually lit up. And you notice there's a battery disconnect here too. So which is kind of cool. It's got a lot of the features of a larger trailer stuck into this tiny little thing. Outdoor shower, another great feature you normally see on the double axle trailers. This is on the single axle trailer. Um, black water flush there as well with your regular water and your um, fresh tank connections there. We have the larger Goodyear off-road tires on here with big fender flares. Little blue LED lights up here on as well. When you want them turned on, they look pretty spectacular. Uh, with the microphones, also you can get a roof rack on them. So you can't see that from here, but you can put roof racks on, which is kind of cool. This is the one with the bunks. And then, so when you're traveling, it's ingenious. The bunk inside there lifts up the lower bunk, and this back door allows you to put stuff in here, bigger stuff that you normally couldn't put inside the trailer, or you'd have to try to put it in the front of the trailer. So they just try to make it so that you can get more of your gear, maybe a bike, maybe something to stand up and that's a little taller, I don't know, but it's just kind of cool, but whenever I show it to kids, they go, hey, I've got a door I can sneak out in. So, I mean, that works too. Underneath here, you've got your spot to put your, uh, your stinky slinky or your, um, your sewer hose. Coming around back, we also have one of the big spare tires, and it's not just a spare tire, it's another full-on Goodyear off-road tire with the, uh, the alloy rim on it too. You've got a detachable ladder on here. Now, with the spawn in, I guess I didn't mention it before, but it's got stabilizer jacks on both the front and the rear. So, which is kind of cool again. We've got a little t-shirt hanging here. And that's here because if it's not here, I'm going to walk into this as I go walking around the trailer during the day. So I put that there as something red so I'd actually see it and not, like, injure me somehow. Um, brings me to another point, this little table thing that's set up here. It's got nice little plates and it's been decorated by our parts area, but um, what this is for is an outdoor griddle. It's a flat surface, about a 17 by 17 flat surface griddle that you heat up. You can do your pancakes on, you can do your eggs, you can do your sausages, burgers, whatever you want. And it's really cool, so even if you're doing bacon on there in the morning, you don't have to smell up the the trailer inside there, and you can also drive your neighbors crazy, so it's kind of cool. Um, hang a TV outside here if you want. We got marine grade outdoor speakers, we got your LED lights above here, power awning. Um, what else do I have that's unique on the outside of here? Oh, okay. Jayco warranty. It's twice that what anybody else has in the industry, so it's two years on everything on the trailer and three years on the structural. So it's also a pretty good thing that we have for our trailers comes with the two steps of the more right step above. Coming into the trailer, you're kind of blown away because it's a small trailer. Usually they're narrow. These are almost eight feet wide. They're on a, almost a foot wider than the standard small trailer. If you'll notice the bed on the other side, it's a nice thick foam mattress that we have here. Bit of a headboard space up there as well with a charging station. And there's also a nice television set right behind you there. Um, Bluetooth connectable, all sorts of fun stuff, and there's a radio in there and the whole deal. It'll come out and move around. It's not on an articulating arm. That's kind of a tongue twister. Um, the dinette seats four, table will go down, 
more sleeping space there if required. Sometimes people have three kids and they have a small plane and they want a, a little trailer for five. This makes it happen. Here's your, your upper bunk here. It's got a light up there as well. The lower bunk is currently in a position that we've showed before that had it in the upright position so that you could have storage in there. But it just folds down, goes down pretty easy. Alex, I'll let you go in the bathroom because there's no need for both of us to be in at the same time. Um, you got a nice size shower in here with a dome above for the taller people. Um, the, the, the bases on these units are supported by wood underneath there so the base will never yield any more than it does and that way you know your plumbing traps are always going to be good there'll be no hairline cracks in the the shower base and all you have a nice um toilet there good room for you to do whatever it is you got to do your business in there and uh also have a sink inside the bathroom too so a lot of times the smaller trailers don't have sinks in there we're going to take a look next at the fridge and freezer in here sorry alex i make you dance around here but, whoops, there we go. Full size, not a full size, but a large size fridge and freezer for a small unit, which is pretty spectacular. Got a microwave, you got a nice low profile fan, the stove. People use these as night lights because when you turn them on, well, it's still blue. Okay, um, you can turn this off, turn it on, it lights up, and it's as an. Um, Kind of a light, you don't have to leave a big light on, but it's enough to light up the, the, the unit at night. And so if there's somebody inside that's a little concerned about sleeping or whatever, they can still find their way to the bathroom and do all sorts of, you know, whatever it is they got to do. A neat thing, the back part of the stove here, there's a couple of slots in there. A lot of people don't know that, but if your trailer has that or you're looking at one, that's a spot to put your knives. That's like a knife holder back there, so it's actually pretty cool. Um... What else can I tell you about this unit? It's a really exciting um, unit. Uh, it's got a lot of great features to it. We are a Wasco RV at, uh, in, in Bowmanville, Ontario. I'm Brian. There's a lot of we have other salespeople here as well to help you out. We have 14 service bays out back. We've got a great parts department as well. And if you're wondering, um, how much is this thing? And I'm drawing a blank. So, you got my cheat sheet here. So, here we go. It's one thirty nine eighty seven bi weekly, including tax for this unit. Um, again, the roof will hold forty five hundred pounds. You've also got a fan in here as well. I mean, for a small trailer, this thing has a lot of stuff going for it. The price would be also thirty seven four ninety for this. The interior is done in a vintage washed gray. The dry weight of this unit is about thirty seven hundred pounds, and the GVWR, as I said before, is forty nine ninety five. If you're a boondocking kind of guy, a lot of these trailers have like 30, 30 pound, not 30 pound, 30 gallon tanks. This one's got a 55 gallon freshwater tank, and the, the grays and the blacks, they're both 30.5 uh, 30 gallons each. So that's significantly more. I think a similar SLX7 trailer with the bunks, you're running around 20, 20 gallons for the grays and the blacks. So this one's 30 for those, and but 55 for the freshwater. So that's pretty impressive. So this thing is meant for you to go a little bit deeper, a little bit farther in the woods, and you know, for the person who wants to go boondocking or trailing, or you know, if you got motorcycles in the back of your truck and you want to go out and find some great spots to uh, to go ripping around on, this trailer will get you there and keep you nice and cool. We got the air in here, we got heat. I think that's about it. I finished my rambling. Alex, it's been great working with you. Have a have a great night, everybody. And once again, Brian from Wasco, and have a great day.